another episode of safety glasses required so a couple years ago uh, right when drones were getting super popular uh, I really I really wanted one because the aerial photography people are getting from it was pretty amazing so I've always been interested in things that fly and, and photography so at the time I couldn't afford a drone and I came up with this idea turns out a lot of, it had existed for a long time uh, how about I attach a camera to a kite uh, and it turns out there's this device called a PicaVet that you can attach a camera designed just for that, to attach a camera to a kite. So uh, I tried to find an existing solution or plans or designs and I found some things and I ended up making my own thing. So three years ago I created this. So basically it's a series of strings mounted to eye hooks with a 3D printed part here, it'll be on Thingiverse shortly, um, with a camera. This is my Yi Action Cam, kind of a GoPro knockoff. Uh, with this kind of photography, there's obviously a high risk of the camera being destroyed. So, I didn't want to mount one of my better cameras on here. The Yi Cam is perfect for this. Um, had some issues with it, which I'll show you later, but uh, anyhow. I 3D printed this a couple years ago and tried to fly it in Myrtle Beach. Didn't fly real well because the winds there weren't great and I was didn't have a whole, lot, a whole lot of help to help get the kite up and attach the camera at the time. Flash forward another year, I tried it again. I got it up in the air very, very briefly, but not long enough to make anything worthwhile. Kind of started the YouTube channel recently, decided on this last vacation in the Outer Banks, I'm gonna get this thing in the air. So, with some help from my brother, we attached this to a kite and had several successful flights You'll show those very shortly here. Um, I don't have any time-lapse footage of actually printing this device. This is kind of before I was doing things like that. But anyhow, the, it's kind of a, not the most interesting 3D print in the world, but it is actually a pretty cool, awesome device. So basically, the coolest thing about what a PicaVet does is it allows the camera to stay stabilized even when the, cam, the kite may not be. Now, this one's maybe not perfect, but it does work pretty well. I think if you lowered the amount of friction here a little bit, which allowed the the cables or the string to move a little more freely you wouldn't have uh, some of the swaying that this one has but in general it works pretty well um, I tried several different kites and a couple different um, attachment points uh, one of them worked better than the rest I'll show you some footage um, check it out here
cool thing about the Pika Vet is how affordable it is. Uh, if you've already got to buy a kite, you probably get one for 15, 20 bucks, or maybe even less. Um, this actually, you don't need a 3D printer. You can use stuff from the hardware store. So you're talking about some, a small piece of scrap wood, um, some eye bolts, and uh, some string. And you've got maybe 20 bucks in this thing. Uh, 20 bucks in a kite, and then it, the camera that you maybe already own, or this e-action cam is only $80, and the footage is nearly as good as the GoPro. Um, so you pick all that up, and for less than 100 bucks, you've got yourself right around 100 bucks. You've got yourself a pretty cool way to get some aerial photography. Um, that's a lot cheaper than some of the drones that are out there right now. Uh, it is a little more challenging to get good footage, and it's certainly certainly fun though. So be sure to subscribe. We've got a lot of great ideas coming up. Um, thanks again.